Hey everybody, Uncle Buck here. So today, if you watch my videos, um, or you'll see it on my page, I just finished up a Grizzly G1148 working on it. One thing I was having a hard time was finding a uh, fence that would fit. It's just got a small 16 and a half inch table. Um, finding a fence, well let me rephrase that, finding an affordable fence to work for it. So I pulled the rails off and I decided I'm just going to build something uh, that I can trust and is easy to ensure it's square. So I'll show you what I did. Um, it cost me uh, nothing because I had everything in the shop, but if you did need to buy the stuff, it would probably still be under 20 bucks. It's one clamp, a machine bolt, and then screws you get around your house. You just really need a Forstner bit, some scrap wood, and a clamp. I'll show you how I did it. All right, everybody. So this is really the beginning of making this fence. First, let's take a look at it. So really the basis is a clamp that's going to reach at least three quarters of the width of the table you're trying to cross. Um, in this case, this one's about 16 and a half inch table, so I went with the 12 inch. All you're going to do here, the nicer bigger ones have a just a push tab. This one here does have a little machine screw with a nut on the back. Pop that off and it's ready to go. What I did here, these are just the little poplar legs that they sell at big box stores. Um, what I did, as you can see, I ran half the depth, and I did go one table saw blade wider than the clamp arm, uh, and I did that so that way it can move, so when it pulls, it can kind of center itself against the table. I did use hardwood, I used some uh, oak here, and just to, even though it hangs off the table, I still used cabinet screws, and uh, forced and gritted it down in there. Out here, I just used inch and a quarter Craig screws. Again, use the Forstner bits just to, obviously, so your material is not hitting it. And one machine screw going through that whole clamp where this will come out of. So let's see it in action. So I've noticed it's about 50-50, even with the spacing I'm putting in there, um, for the clamp to move, for it to be perfectly square. But what's nice about this setup is you can grab your speed square, regular square, whatever you got, and just verify it. So this is one of the 50% where it worked out perfect. It's in there square. Um, like I said, about 50-50. Super simple though, just loosen the clamp, butt it up against the square, and retighten it. But for quick stuff and resign, it's great. I just made it six inches tall. So for zero dollars, I now have a fence instead of, instead of spending hundreds. Thanks for checking it out.